After four seasons and innumerable betrayals, the succeeding CEO of Waystar Roy Co. has finally been revealed. But could the end of the show have been under our noses the whole time? Since Succession began, the question on viewers' minds is who would ultimately carry on the Waystar Roy Co. legacy after family patriarch Logan Roy inevitably had to step down. Turns out the mighty CEO stepped down sooner than anticipated, as Logan died in the third episode of season 4. Since that point, it's been a mad dash to acquire power among the Roy siblings, and the series finale with open eyes finally brought things to a close the only way it was possible. Tom Wamsgans ultimately receives an offer to become CEO, which the Roy siblings try to circumnavigate. However, at the last second, Tom's wife Shiv sides with her husband or against her brother Kendall, depending on how you look at it, allowing Tom to acquire the position. Throughout the run of the show, there were various fan theories suggesting Tom would end up victorious over the Roy children. After all, Logan appeared to take a real shine to him throughout the series. He even calls Tom son at one point, albeit at a time when he was not entirely lucid. However, one theory that came out just before the finale aired suggests the answer was right before our eyes the whole time, whether the showrunners realized it or not. Names in prestigious TV shows tend to carry additional meaning. In succession, the last name Roy literally translates to king, so it's easy to see the symbolism there. Additionally, Tom's wife goes by the nickname Shiv, meaning knife, which is appropriate for someone who's not above using underhandedness to get away. Even in the series finale, one could argue she stabbed her brother in the back so that her husband would become CEO. However, the last name Wamsgan should have told everyone what to expect from the moment he was introduced. Sophie Kim, the editor-in-chief at Nameberry, posted a TikTok a few days before the finale, offering a significant hint why Tom would be the new CEO. Working for Nameberry, she naturally points to how names have meaning, and while Wamsgans isn't significant on its own, it does tie Tom to someone who would mirror his own arc, baseball player Bill Wamsgans. While the real-life athlete is spelled slightly different from the erratic head of ATN, with two S's at the end instead of one, Bill did something Tom would achieve in a different context. In the TikTok, Kim explains that Wamsgans was a baseball player best known for being the only player in history to complete an unassist triple play during a World Series game. In a baseball game, a triple play occurs when all three outs are recorded on one single swing of the bat. It's incredibly rare to be done by one single fielder, hence the term unassisted triple play. It's only been done 15 times throughout the sport's history, and Wamsgans did it during baseball's equivalent of a series finale. In the succession finale, Tom achieves a similar feat by knocking down all three Roy siblings out of contention for CEO at once. Chef, you should probably know. It's me. He even bested Kendall's attempt to subvert his ascension, with the final vote coming down to Shiv, who may or may not have considered Tom to be a better CEO than her brother. Either way, she had to stop Kendall's rise. Tom's journey to the top spot can be charted back to the Season 3 finale, when he ratted out all three Roy siblings to Logan, making a play that cut all three out of the running. As Kim explains, it's important to make a note of unusual surnames in film and television. Wamsgans always stood out, but even though it matches his character arc perfectly, executive producer Frank Rich told Slate, I hate to spoil the internet's fun, but it's false. Tom's family name was picked before we had shot a first season. He went on to mention how many writers for the show are British and therefore likely wouldn't be up to date with obscure American baseball names. It just so happens to be one of the biggest coincidences in TV history. 